Hi and welcome back to Cheeky Crypto. My name is Nick and today guys we're jumping down into the world of Cardano to take a look at what's been going on most recently and what we would expect to happen next. As I get into the video if you knew, find it useful, informative, maybe even entertaining, you know what to do. Hit the like button, I do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications and in doing so you will stay up to date with all the live streams and videos that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Okay guys let's get started and start talking a little bit around Cardano. Here we have Cardano paired up with USDT on the hourly chart and Binance is our data source. The first thing that we want to talk about a little bit here is going to be the support levels, resistance levels and targets. Um, so let's talk a little bit about those. Okay so here we have uh, see three different levels right at the bottom we have our low targets. This was a part of our expectations with our fifth wave down lower. This was between 41.28 and 42.63 cents. Okay, this was a good target. And as you can see, we did actually come right down into this low range and actually hit our target here. A little bit north of there in the middle, we have our what kind of um, resistance and uh, support lines? Okay, this is actually quite a broad channel. It basically comes in at 46.19 on the lower side and 47.45 on the higher side. This here is a channel that was basically proving to be a lot of resistance for Cardano historically, as you can kind of see documented here on this hourly chart. And we finally had a breakthrough over the weekend and we were able to turn it into a level of support. On the higher side at the top big rectangle, we have our wave two high expectations. Okay, now this actually comes in between 49.56 on the lower side and 56.97 on the higher side. As you can see, we have entered into this area quickly and we have started to pull back a little bit. But we're going to talk about what's going on here in a little bit more detail just outside of these key levels. Let's now talk about structure. On Cardano here from our lows down at the bottom as our low five with a fifth wave target, we actually started to see a pretty good trend to the upside. Now this is a micro trend and I'll quickly draw this out for you. We have a wave one, we have a wave two, we have a wave three coming up here and we're currently in a wave four looking for that final fifth wave higher. This would actually mark a kind of micro trend. Trends are dictated by Elliott Wave Theory as five wave structures and are usually comprised of a 53535. Five, five. Okay, they call this an impulsive um, trend, okay, an impulsive five wave structure. Now, what we do have to acknowledge here is that this is a potential five wave move and it does carry an invalidation. Let me quickly remove these and grab hold of a horizontal ray. Our invalidation is set right up here on our um, wave one high point. This comes in at 46.31 cents. If the price action of Cardano were to go down before going up into a final fifth wave higher, lower than 46.31, it means that we are not trending to the upside and we will be able to act accordingly. Okay, I'm going to quickly remove that. So now we have to an understanding that we have a five wave structural move to the upside. Okay, coming in here. And we should acknowledge that maybe we haven't finished the wave three. That's always possible that actually in here, what we do have is a sub wave count of five structure. One, two, three, four, five. Meaning that wave three is still not complete and our wave four will come down later and there'll still be another fifth wave up higher. This is a particularly interesting wave count where we could potentially see a little bit higher in terms of the price action. However, just like everything else, we should be super cautious about this because there are other ways of counting this current structure to the upside. Considering it as a five wave structure, if I were to quickly remove these and put it back into the one that we had prior, which is basically one, two, three, four and five, then we should acknowledge that maybe it's possible that actually this is a three, three, five expanding flat correction. And this comes in in the form of this over here. We have one, two, three or A, B and C, depending on how you want to draw this. And of course, down to here, we have one, two and three. This basically means a expanding flat, a three, three, five. Now, this basically also has uh, the ability to be referenced as an ex uh, a megaphone. Uh, pattern where basically you see this expansion over time okay lots of different ways of articulating the same thing essentially and um, but what we've got here is an expansion um, from this low period that actually occurred over here on the 20th of august 
Okay, I'm going to quickly remove these trend lines because we don't like trend lines on the channel. So understanding that we've got a couple of different scenarios that are playing out, we will ignore the 3-3 three, three structure for now and just focus in on our fifth wave here. This basically tells us that we are likely to see an upward move next. And if we grab hold of our Fibonacci retracement tools, we're going to grab this and just draw this in. And we're going to grab another rectangle and we're going to highlight the 1.236 to the 1.618 area. This is basically the most common retracement or uh, targeted range for a fifth wave. A fifth wave is usually 1.236 to 1.618 times that of wave 4. So in the case of Cardano, if we have in fact reached the bottom of a wave 4 structure, we should be talking about 51.67 cent through to a high of about 52.77 cent. Now, when we have that, and in fact I'm going to quickly remove this, pull this over here for a second. The other thing to bear in mind is if this is not an expanding flat and it is just five waves up, we would then expect a three wave structured move to the downside, followed by an additional five wave structure to the upside. Okay, uh, this would be the minimum expectation and would set us with a 535 or a zigzag pattern also known as A, B and C. OK, um, so this here kind of maps out what might be on the horizon here for Cardano as we kind of go through the month of September. Not so bearish, right? Of course, the bearish scenario is that this is just completing a 335 and we are looking to pull back to the downside. Now, this is obviously on the hourly chart and it's very important that we understand what's going on with the here and the now. However, it's also incredibly important that we take the time to zoom out because what is going on right now and how we ended up with our targets on that higher rectangle between um, the 4.956 and sorry 49.56 and 56.97 essentially is because that's a wave two expectation and a wave two expectation would potentially be a three wave structure so 335 would fit that scenario quite well and um, so in this if i grab hold of my five wave structure here we can see one two down here for uh, a couple of options right we've kind of got three four and then five. Now this basically means zigzag pattern up or alternatively we have this mapped out a little bit differently just over here. We have a wave three, wave four and then a wave five down here. This basically allows us to then look at that as an expanding flat correction within a wave two. Since we've retraced into our typical wave two area between, as I said before, um, 49.56 and 56.97, we essentially are in that kind of zone where we should start to think about maybe pulling to the downside okay five waves are not usually on their own and what we have over this side is actually a pretty decent corrective structure going up and we have failed to come down lower so seeing a five wave drop like this uh, without any kind of major movements outside of these three waves indicates to me that we're probably looking at at least a zigzag to the downside which of course we've got our target set down here between 28 cent on the lower side and 34 cent on the higher side okay so we have our clean set targets all kind of mapped out and all we're doing now is kind of waiting to see how the price action of Cardano is going to be um, affected with the various different amounts of FOMO, the Vazil hard fork and all of that kind of really good stuff. So essentially, my short-term expectations are a slightly higher push to the upside, where we'll be keeping a very keen eye on what happens afterwards. Are we dropping down in five waves? Are we dropping down in three waves? Are we going down lower than our lower end targets? Are we creating any invalidations? And a lot of these unanswered questions will hopefully be answered in due course. Right now, we should enjoy the little move to the upside before we start to talk about any kind of major moves to the downside. But for now, I think uh, we can definitely enjoy the Vasil hard fork and whether or not that does mean a sell the news event further down the line uh, or something that we should also consider. Guys, I'm going to leave this video right there. If you have found it useful and informative, hit the like button. I do appreciate that. If you happen to be new to the channel, then why not go ahead and subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. With all that said, done and out of the way, I hope everyone has a fantastic day, and I'll catch you all in the next one.